night nine o'clock yeah and i'm happy to say i have fully recovered from last night's hot sauce assault it is clear i'm not the lord of the wings and it's also clear that sean is a sadist my toilet may be mad at me but i forgive all of you who purposely tried to tank the questions to make them extra savage last night he thinks he won't be trying that again this evening because there is no sauce just this boss serving up hot questions for you to answer to win cash here on HQ Trivia. I am Quiz Markey, Quizzy Gillespie, Don H. Cucum, R.I.P., Scott Rogowski, live from East Newbridge with Donna Tucker, who finally won last night, Dana and Miko, Mary Moe, plus Tyler and Ellicott City, and Jamie with birthdays. After you blow out your candles, answer my questions, all 12 of them. If you do, I'll bequeath to you $2,500 which you should promptly turn over to the Kickstarter for digitally removing the rat at the end of The Departed. They don't call him Subtle Scorsese for nothing. When you answer questions, you also earn points, of course, season two, yeah. Those points help you level up to score free passes for keeping the game when you get a question wrong. What level are you on right now? My friend Samantha got to level six last night. You can go all the way to level 10, which would mean you just have to answer a few questions to win the whole dang thing. And those points are also jacking up our season finale jackpot. Oh, let's check in on that right now. What do we got? What do we say? What does it look like? Ooh, $99.55. We're just $45 plus $900 shy of a hundred grand. $945 shy of $100K for that season finale. Do you have an, uh, an extra life? Yeah? Free passes can be combined with extra lives to give you an even sweeter advantage this season. If you don't have any, you can buy one right now. That would be so extra. Or play five days in a row to get one for free. Referring a friend with your code will also do the trick. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. You got your lives. You got your erasers if you're playing nearby any other HQDs. There are over 375,000 of you in the game right now. Are there any within shouting distance? Give them the HQD call. HQ! HQ! Are you... Are you strapped in? Buckled up? It's time to give the people what they want. A quarter hour of PG-14 erotic infotainment. This quiz has e six for legs. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. And let's get this show on the road. Cumero. Numero uno. According to a classic Bob Seger lyric, he likes that old time rock and what? Paper and scissors roll or a hard place. Hope you appreciate my use of the aspirate. What? This song did all right when it was first released in the 70s, but the movie Risky Business later made it a living monument to rock and roll. The kind of music that soothes the soul. 333,836 taken Q2 off the shelf. Like those old records, Q2. Which of these animals is known to store nuts for the winter? Squirrel, blue whale, or toucan? You can't see them. Any marine biologist will tell you the majestic blue whale is more of a krill buff than nut fiend, and toucans do very little prep for winter because they don't experience it. But oh, how those squirrels are nuts for nuts. They're just trying to get that nut. Squirrel is your answer at Q2. And 343,329 are squirreling away their answers tonight, going all the way to Q3. But before we get there, you got to know about Thursday, folks. We're getting a shipment of Szechuan sauce this Thursday, 9 p.m. Join me, Rick, Doofus Rick, Evil Rick, the Transdimensional Council of Ricks, and Morty at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Perhaps this is the reality where you win HQ. Find out Thursday at 9 p.m., but there's more tonight, right? Now, Q3. What legendary German fashion designer was known for his signature long white hair and black sunglasses? Karl Lagerfeld, Christian Dior, or Jacobim Mugatu. Jacobi Mugatu. You know, you know him better as Mugatu. Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You lost control of your life, so you bought some sweatpants. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm a leisure wear aficionado. That sweat-shaming statement came 
from the inimitable Carl Lagerfeld, who sadly passed away today, giving all his money to an 11-year-old boy in New Jersey. I think that's what I read. I, I think that's true. 221,781 got this right. Our thoughts and prayers, of course, go to Choupette. Q4. That's the cat. Carl's, Carl's cat. Q4, which stats make up a full count in baseball? Zero balls and three strikes, three balls and two strikes, or four balls and one strike? Do yourself a favor and follow Shoe Pet on Twitter. Uh, it's actually kind of gross. When faced with a full count, that means the next pitch could be ball four, or you take the base, and you take the base, that, that's, a, that's a walk, or strike three, and you're out! So do the math, and you'll find that three balls and two strikes is as full as the count can get. One, ha, 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 two, ha, ha, ha. 275,911 are safe at Q4, sliding in to Q5. Which of these is an actual Greek letter? Ion, Upsilon, or Meta? Greek kids have it slightly easier when learning the alphabet. Only 24 letters to R26. I actually had these memorized when I was pledging in college. Let's see if I can get it. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, Rho, no, Omicron, Pi, Sigma, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon. Upsilon's right there, baby. Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. I had to do it backwards too, but I, I, don't, I don't remember that. 223,483 got this one right. The rest of you, 100,000. I guess it's all Greek to you. You're out of here. Unless you have an extra life for a free pass. Q6. Ugh. Halfway point, people. We're so close. Which TV series is based on Marvel Comics? Legion, Black Lightning, or Swamp Thing? Mmm. Keeping the DC Marvel universes can be a lot of work. Keeping them separate can be a lot of work in today's media climate, but a little practice goes a long way. DC gives us Superman, Batman, Swamp Thing, and Black Lightning, but Marvel's X-Men is the setting of Legion on FX, the Marvel Universe. Yeah, I know what I am. What's that? I think, I think that is Legion. I believe that's, well, I've never seen it, and I never will. 205,881 are going to be seeing Q7 tonight on this big Tuesday night. 2,500 up for grabs. Q7, which of these J.K. Rowling books was written under a pseudonym? Tales of Beetle the Bard, The Casual Vacancy, or The Cuckoo's Calling? Just like Burlington Coat Factory is more than great coats, J.K. Rowling is more than Harry Potter. Back in 2012, she published the adult-targeted novel The Casual Vacancy under her own name, but the pen name Robert Galbraith was used on the cuckoo's calling. HQ! HQ! Ooh, what do we have here? Mm, last night I would have had to call the Savage, so I'll do it tonight. A Savage question! At Q7! No hot sauce for me. No hot sauce for me. No hot sauce for me. Mm -mm. But 71,516 surviving that one. 200,000 you out at Q7. We're going to keep JK rolling, 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 rolling. On to Q8. What was an early name for the Frisbee? Flip Flyer, Pluto Platter, or Sky Sailor? Sorry, Shawnee boy. You can't get me tonight, baby. There's a long and boring story behind the Frisbee name, which actually derives from a now defunct pie company. The first commercially made plastic discs discs, were marketed as the Whirl Away, the Flying Saucer, and then Pluto Platter. There she is, folks. Pluto Platter, named after the former planet. And then it became Frisbee, that we all know and love. But 31,967 remember the Pluto Platter. We lost uh, about... 58,000 on this question, 31, 9, 50, 67 remaining. That's a slightly savage. Not all the way. We're throwing a scuba to Q9 after that savage question. Which of these states shares a border with Nebraska, Oklahoma, Wyoming, or Minnesota? Here, Nebraska's so flat that I don't care. Crack an atlas much? Don't sound like you do. Middle America, you guys probably got this. But my broskies on the coasties are likely at a loss. Peep the map, folks. Nebraska's entire western border butts up right against Wyo. Wyo, yo, yo, yo. Wyoming. Why? I don't know. Alaska. Idaho. Nebraska. Wyoming. 
is the answer. 20,294. Wyoming, of course, the state most similar to Yao Ming, the basketball player. That, that has, they're not connected at all. Q10, the Wellington boot is named for a hero of which famous historical battle? Hastings, Gettysburg, or Waterloo? Not to be confused with Duke Ellington, the first Duke of Wellington, put his own custom spin on the old Hessian boots that give Brits the wellies they know and love today. The Duke earned his heroic reputation after defeating Napoleon Bonaparte. Nappy Bones, where? My, my. At Waterloo, Napoleon did surrender. 15,580. This is not your Waterloo. You're strapping on your Wellingtons and sloshing into Q11. The penultimate question tonight. Oh, what's this? Do I hear those sleigh bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling? No, that's not Santa. It's the gift drop, baby. We're dropping gifts right now. Drop it like it's hot. You stuck around and look what's going to happen. You're, you might be getting something. What, what are you getting? An extra life? Hmm? Did you tap the box? Tap it. You got to tap the box, people. Did you get a new car? We're not giving those out. Did you get tickets to my live show in New York on Thursday? No, we don't. It's just extra lives. That's all you can get in there. I hope you got something. I hope you got something. A little gift from us to you on this Tuesday night. Q11. Which of these movies now lends its name to a specific psychological disorder? Being John Malkovich, Total Recall, or The Truman Show? Dozens of people have come forward since this movie's released to say, yeah, that's my life. It got to the point that psychiatrist Joel Gold dubbed the conviction that one's life as a reality show, the Truman Show Delusion. Truman Show is your answer. 11,127, no delusions tonight. You're one question away from winning it all. By the way, I suffer from the Ace Ventura 2 syndrome. I believe I was birthed out of a rhino's behind. Neither here nor there. Q12, folks, it's time at all. Boils down to of uh, this right now, you got your gift. Are you gonna win the ultimate gift? The cherry on the Sunday, money, $2,500 up for grabs here at Q12. Which of these commonly used words is widely thought to have started as a joke? Cool swish or okay? Now back in the day, and I mean the 1830s day, some hysterical New Englanders started spelling all correct as all correct with an O and the K, an abbreviation that caught steam with Martin Van Buren's campaign as he was nicknamed Old Kinderhook. You know where I'm going with this, folks. O, K, Oakley, Dokley, OK's your answer. 5,643 are our winners Yeah, 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 you just won 44 cents, for 44 or 45, wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta pinch myself, I gotta rub my eyes, 44 whole cents, huh. <laughs> what are you, what are you gonna do with the money, guys, what are you gonna do with it, talk to your financial advisors, they might have a plan. MK5641, congrats. Mafia season, smoke bros, canarchy. What's the I I can't read. Look, look, the, the sauce, I'll be honest, the hot sauce last night, it, it, it melted my contact lenses. I'm, I'm going without them, but I, I have these, but they're a little, they're a little dirty. Uh, uh, that's all for tonight, folks. Stick around for words. Coming, coming at you right now. With Anna Rose. You know about that. You know the word. You've heard the word about words. That's coming up right now, so like, don't even change the channel. Just keep your phone open, all right? And come back to me tomorrow, 9 p.m. I miss you already. And Thursday, get swifty, of course, with Rick and Morty and me. Until I see you in 23 hours and 45 minutes, I'm Scott Rogowski signing off, remembering that Brooklyn Dodger great and the first black pitcher to win 20 games, Don Newcomb, who we lost today along with Carl Lagerfeld. I'm sure they're getting along brilliantly up there. R.I.P., my dudes. Good night, everybody.